What's going on guys? I am Adam from AmpNet Media. AmpNet Media is a marketing and branding company out helping other companies stand out online through professional video, photography, branding websites, and online ads. Our goal is to help companies really stand out. And in that vein, today we are talking about marketing websites, portfolio websites, branding websites, landing pages, whatever you want to call them. We're talking about websites uh, that people are going to come to, find you, figure out what you do, and uh, get in contact with you. So I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to get into it right after this intro. So actually, before we get into this specific uh, video and topic, I am gonna be creating a portfolio website for a local photographer here in Dallas. So my thought was that I would build this um, all and record the process of it, kind of the thoughts behind a lot of stuff and uh, put that out for you guys to consume. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know down in the comments exactly what you want to see. If you want to see more of the coding side, more of the marketing side, um, exactly what you want to see on that. Leave me a comment and we'll get into that soon. But in this one, we're talking about tips for building out your branding or portfolio website. Tip number one is content is king. So if you're at all familiar with YouTube and the like vlogging space or anything like that. Um, you've probably heard the phrase that story is king. Telling the story is more important than um, a great looking shot or whatever. And the same sort of thing applies to websites. The content is the king. You shouldn't develop or design your website based on um, pretty images or uh, a different flow or feel of the website. If it doesn't help enhance the content, you're doing it wrong. So make sure that your content is laid out before you get ready to design the website. Um, make sure that you know what you want going into it and bring your branding and marketing strategies into that. Tip number two is to show your why. And this has a lot to do with your content and branding as well. And if you're interested in more information on branding and you didn't see our branding video, I just did a branding video. So make sure you go back and check that one out if you didn't already, um, give you some tips and tricks on uh, branding and what branding is. But um, you definitely need to have your branding strategy. You need to know your why, what your company is doing and providing, um, why people are visiting this website. And that needs to be pretty much at top. So you can have your like logo and navigation and stuff, but one of the first things they need to see is exactly why they're on this website. What service do you provide to them? Why are you the one that they're coming to? Number three is show testimonials. Definitely show them up top. So you have your logo, then you have your why. Next thing, show some testimonials. If you don't have a lot of projects out there, you don't have a lot of testimonials, dig into um, other people that you can hit up for a testimonial, dig into social media of people saying, oh, I really like this product. Um, figure out a way to get some testimonials on the website. If it's just one, that's cool. Um, I would max it at about three. Uh, at least for the home page, you can drill in if you want to put more. But for the home page, try to have up to three testimonials right there on the home page, letting people know that you're a trusted source for what you're doing. Next up, number four is show your work. A lot of people are tempted to uh, the first thing that they do is show their work, having their entire website built around showing their work. And while yes, people want to see your work, they definitely want to see that uh, marketing strategy and know what you do first, but definitely showing your work is key. And again, I would limit this to three, five, six, something, depending on exactly what you're showing here, you want to limit it to a certain number and definitely use the best content that you have, not just the latest and also a diverse group of content. So 
say that you're a uh, portrait photographer or headshot photographer, definitely show different uh, skin tones in that, show that you're able to do that, show different sceneries, um, very corporate, very not corporate, things like that. Just show different aspects of your work so that uh, people landing don't see just the same thing and assume that that's all you do. But again, while showing your work is super important, it's more important to show some testimonials and for people to know the why before they even see your work. And the final one we'll touch on in this video is have a clear and easy way for them to contact you. One of the simplest ways is to just put a contact form down at the bottom uh, after showing your work. You can have a call to action button that pops up a modal or takes them to another page. The less clicks they have to do, the better but make sure that it works well and uh, it's easy for them to fill out. Don't have a lot of extra questions right off the jump. If you want those that extra information, get them to fill out the form first and then maybe send them a follow-up to say, hey, answer these questions and I'll be able to better, better serve you. But you definitely need right there on your webpage a easy way for them to contact you. And maybe that's not even a contact form, although I think that's a great way. Uh, maybe you just have your phone number, email address there, but that is setting a little bit of barriers for a lot of people uh, looking online. A great contact form that's designed nice and works well is just the perfect thing to have there. All right, so that's five easy, quick tips for what you need for building a branding, marketing, portfolio website. Um, definitely look at what you have, look at the layout there and uh, try to conform to at least those uh, top five things. And I hope it really works out. Definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if you think that I'm missing something or that one thing might be more important than the other. Um, love to have a discussion about that. And if you're interested in maybe me checking out your website and giving tips or feedback or a design that you have, um, Leave me a comment below too, and we'll figure out a way to do something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Definitely, like I said, go check out that branding video if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more about marketing, branding, web design, video production, gear, um, different things like that on this channel, all to help empower you and hopefully drive your business to success. Thanks for watching, guys.